Welcome to another edition of the Nightly News. Ted, so much in the news. Uh, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing so good, Keith. It's kind of stupid. And I'm eager and ready to share it with my fellow Americans in the asset column to try to galvanize their friends and family who might want to join us in the asset column. It's called the Nightly News. Well, you and I, we might as well just start where you and I were on the phone talking before we got on set. Uh, the border, the southern border. It's a mess down there. People are talking about it. I just want to raise a couple of points and let you just run with this. Obviously, a whole bunch of Syrians, Somalians and Russians were just apprehended at the border. That's a problem. They, they like to couch this in. Hey, it's just a bunch of people coming up here to work and find a better way of life. It's bigger than that. They block out the drugs. They block out the human trafficking. But one part of this story that's in the news right now, an American woman from Kansas, Allison Fluke, married a series of jihadists. Now it's Allison Ekron. This lady, Ted, actually trained her own children to wear suicide belts. And her plan was to get into the United States, blow up college gymnasiums during sporting events. And when they asked her how she was going to come in, simple, the southern border. Take it from here. Keith, I hope everybody is listening. You just outlined the indisputable attack on American culture and the American spirit. It is cultural suicide as the United States government orchestrates the invasion of America. And so many Americans are so detached, so apathetic, so gullible, so ignorant, so anti-patriotic, not to know what the letters O-T-M stands for. Well, I'm just a father and a husband and a guitar player, but the reason my guitar playing and my music is so ferocious and drenched in freedom is because I pay attention so that my family is safe and secure and we have life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. O-T-M is other than Mexicans, not just Guatemalans, not just Venezuelans, but Somalian terrorists, Far East terrorists, known jihadists, Syrian jihadists, yes. people who have come out publicly and said they want to destroy America. And this monster devil in Kansas is merely a manifestation of the tyranny and the treason being perpetrated upon the United States of America by our own government. I just spent the weekend on the Mexican border Keith, my fellow Americans, the Mexican gangs, the Mexican tyrants, they control the United States border on the south. Not Governor Abbott, not the government of the United States of America, but the terrorists who are dedicated to destroying America. They control the southern border. I spent time with a great warrior of the U.S. military, Colonel Allen West, who's running for governor of Texas because Johnny come lately, Greg Abbott has done a pretty good job in Texas. But if you were a pretty good bass player, you couldn't be in my band because you have to be the best in the world. You have to be excellent. You have to be dedicated. And if you're just a pretty good bass player, you end up playing country music. My point being is that the citizens along the border are so heartbroken and most emphatically, Keith, the heroes of the U.S. Border Patrol and the warriors of law enforcement are literally now showing their anger and frustration by pushing back against their bosses, against their captains, against their border directors. And when they give when the people in charge give these heroes of Border Patrol an immoral order, an immoral command, in other words, don't secure the borders. If you catch a bunch of military age young men coming across, tell everybody that they're unaccompanied children. Show the footage in Westchester, New York, as military age men are coming off the plane, flown with our tax dollars. And the White House will tell you their unaccompanied children as the footage rolls on. Keith, I hope everybody who cares about life, liberty and pursuit of happiness and constitutional integrity and the only dream in the world, the American dream. If you're not hammering your senator, your congressman and your governor, and if you're not raising hell with the treasonous, tyrannical White House of the U.S. government, then go ahead and bend over because your silence is the greatest welcome mat for people coming to America, declaring their hate for you 
and their intent and their strategy to destroy America. Thank you, Ted. And you know, if you're listening tonight, um, the one thing Ted said is apathy will kill us. Don't sit on the sidelines. You can't set out another election. And so if you're not registered or if you're trying to figure out how to vote, I highly encourage everyone that's listening to go to huntthevote.org. Make sure you're registered. Then smarten yourself up on all the candidates. Vote for those that stand for truth, logic, common sense, and the traditional American values of God, family, country. And uh, don't sit on the bench. Go vote. If you come back again tomorrow night, we'll have another edition of The Nightly Nuge. Ted, that's as powerful as it gets, my bud. Thank you, man. I'm dedicated to freedom. In fact, right now, I'm intoxicated on freedom, and I'm not backing off. Mm -hmm.